So recently I saw Spider-Man No Way Home, right? And uh Holy shit, man. I I I can't really imagine being a Spider-Man fan and not going to see this movie. Like it's actually like impossible for me to fathom you liking Spider-Man in any way shape or form, any type of capacity and choosing not to see this movie. This this movie is phenomenal now i'm gonna try not to go into spoilers i might talk about spoilers like at the end or so but for the most part i'm gonna be i'm gonna try to be as vague as possible but talking about this movie i'm not gonna lie is extremely difficult without mentioning you know a spoiler here and there it's just really hard to talk about but i'll probably have some flashing words on the screen you guys would know i'll let you guys know if i'm gonna delve into spoilers but for the most part i'm just gonna be talking about this movie because holy shit like i loved it like more than you will you guys will ever know so spider-man no way home i think is like the end of the home trilogy i guess i'm gonna call it dude you know we had homecoming we had far from home i loved the both of those movies i really loved tom holland spider-man a lot i went to see no way home opening night i think that was on thursday um so you know theaters packed i went with my lovely girlfriend and i i i can't tell you how important it is to experience this movie with like some type of like theater audience, like a world premiere type of audience, bro. You know, like you don't really get the, these types of theater experiences. The only times like I've really felt um, the way that I felt, you know, when I was watching No Way Home was with uh, Avengers Endgame. Like that's the only time where like the uh, like you just feel the energy. Oh yeah, the Demon Slayer movie. Um, I also felt it there too. But like, yo, dude, it's just like it's just something special about seeing it. You know, first day it comes out opening night theaters packed and all that shit bro it's just something fucking incredible about that i'm just gonna get this out of the way out of like all the spider-man mcu trilogy movies no way home is definitely like leagues above the first two and like i love the first two i think the first two are extremely good but no way home just takes everything that i've already loved about the mcu spider-man and just elevates it adds more to it one tom holland's performance here Oh my God, I don't know what that man took, but that man's acting skills and everything like just, sh just shot through the roof, like absolutely skyrocketed with this movie. This is the best I've ever seen him play Peter Parker and Spider-Man before. Like Jesus Christ, like that man, like was in his bag. Now, obviously this isn't really a spoiler since if you guys saw the trailers for No Way Home, you would know this already, but this is a multiverse spider-man movie you know we saw villains from the previous spider-man movies green goblin doc ock electro all of them though so you know like they're in this movie and like i can't tell you like how excited i was to just see them like acting again especially like doc ock and stuff and, and green goblin william defoe holy shit this guy is still he still got it bro william defoe is a legend man i'm telling you as a green goblin dude that dude is just he's so he's so good as him I, I, I just, I can't, I can't express how good William Dafoe is at playing Green Goblin, Doc Ock too. Oh my God, dude, like just seeing these villains again in like a modern superhero movie and like them interacting with like, you know, I guess like Tom Holland and stuff. It's just, it was just so surreal to see like me and my girlfriend were just like, like, like we honestly like couldn't believe it. I'm like, wait, like I'm like, th these are like, you know, the, the people that like I grew up watching, man, you know, like I remember watching spider-man 2 and shit you know spider-man 3 and spider-man you know the first one like on dvds with my dad you know like i, I played like almost every single spider-man game known the man not spider-man 1 though guys i'm not that fucking old so yeah this movie is definitely just like fan service out the ass bro but i was worried going into the movie that they were kind of just cashing in on like oh it's nostalgia hey guys these are the old iconic villains you remember them right all right give us your money like not nah, like they actually felt like they had some weight and something like to give to the overall story and like the impact that they have with everything that's going on like they didn't just come in and like hey we're the bad guys all right uh tom holland let's fight and shit like no like they actually had like super important you know scenes going on like really compelling stuff too that was another thing that really surprised me with this movie i thought like once again i thought i was just gonna go in and i'm like okay i'm gonna see some old villains and they're gonna fight and it's gonna be fucking awesome you know i'm watching an mcu film here but like what i really got was like an extremely gripping, at times brutal, grimy, emotional movie, dude. Like at times I forgot, like, wait, I'm actually watching like a, a Spider-Man MCU film, like a, you know, MCU films, they're quippy, they're funny, you know, like we're not that serious, but like this movie felt way, way darker than like the previous two uh, 
MCU Spider-Man movies. Like it, I, like there's like a really big tone shift that I was just like super, super impressed with that they were able to manage everything. Like it was incredible. This is still like a MCU Spider-Man film. Like the beginning of the movie starts out like very ominous and very dramatic. Like I'm thinking like, oh shit, like we're about to get some like real shit going on. And then like it kind of like flips it on its head. And it's like, okay. And it's like this like kind of a lighthearted sequence i'm like okay they're making jokes i'm like okay okay you know we're, we're back here in the mcu i guess but really after that it kind of finds its own way and like like i said it kind of makes me forget after a while that i'm watching an mcu film like it really truly felt that like i was watching a spider-man film if that makes sense but yeah everybody once again i can't imagine you liking spider-man in any capacity and choosing not to see this movie like this movie is honestly a must watch for any type of spider-man fan now I kind of want to talk about the spoilers a little bit. I'll only, only a little bit, everybody. So if you want to, you know, if you haven't seen the movie, you want to dip out. All right, thank you so much for watching, like always, though. But right now, I'm going to talk a little bit about the spoilers. Of course, you know, if you guys have already watched the movie, you already know what the fuck I'm going to talk about. So yeah, um, last warning. I'm talking about it right now. Okay, one, three, two, one, go. When Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire came through the portal... I cannot tell you the like rush of emotions me and my girlfriend felt dude like everyone like like I said before once again you have to go to a theater on like 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 world premieres and shit like that bro like everyone just audibly like clapping and just like cheering they're like oh shit you know like and like me going into the movie honestly I was keeping my expectations low I was like oh you know there's you know there's leaks and shit like that but like there's no way that they're gonna get them all back like that's like too much fan service you know like there's no way like that's too much love to the fans and holy shit they they did it bro they not only brought back the villains they brought back toby Maguire, the og spider-man and andrew garfield bro very underrated dude andrew in this movie when he's on screen dude he has so much um charisma dude like he, he just has so, like he's just oozing like ah he just screen presence man like he's so underrated i'm telling you if the Amazing Spider-Man and the Amazing Spider-Man 2 had better scripts and stuff like if they were just better movies overall, I'm telling you, Andrew Garfield would be a force to be reckoned with because that man can act his ass off. And Tobey Maguire, dude, just honestly, just him being on the screen again on the big screen, seeing him in a Spider-Man suit and shit like that. That was all I needed, man. He honestly didn't even need to do anything else. But once again, the movie surprised me by incorporating them into the story a lot like they really added like a lot more elements to the story like i said like they i feel like like they didn't just get shoehorned in and like okay three spider-mans against all the villains you know like it's it, i mean that that did happen but like you know like they had a lot more to add and i really do appreciate that bro i really do appreciate that a lot man like this movie once again dude just i feel like this is like the ultimate spider-man movie the only thing that i didn't like the only thing that i hated when i went to see this movie was that they didn't give me a fucking souvenir, bro. How the hell are you not gonna give your customers, AMC, a souvenir for watching the goddamn movie, bro? I got a souvenir for Venom. I got a souvenir for Endgame, for Infinity War, but No Way Home, they don't give me shit. They didn't even give me a goddamn ticket. I got no memorabilia. I got a digital ticket, but that's really about it, bro. Like, come the fuck on, AMC. That's really the only gripe I had, dude. Like, I'm, I, it sucks, man. I wish I would've gotten like a comic, a poster. A fucking scrap of fucking dust from the, the the movie set? Anything, bro. Like, come on, man. But in all seriousness, guys, honestly, I found no flaw with the movie. Call me biased. Call me whatever the fuck you want. I'm not a movie critic, dude. I'm just a guy that likes Spider-Man. Yeah, guys, if you like Spider-Man and you haven't seen this movie, what the fuck are you doing watching this video? Go ahead and watch that movie, man. I mean, everybody, thank you guys so much for watching me gush about Spider-Man for a couple of minutes, man. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Like always, you already know the deal, though. It's been your boy, Avery, and I'm out. Peace.